channel you guys thank you so much for tuning in today we are going to be filming this tutorial I just wanted to have some fun play around with some makeup since it's been a while since I've worn any and we're going out tonight so I just wanted to get glam with you guys let's get started what is up guys so to prep my face I'm starting with the Cetaphil daily facial moisturizer I have the SPF 15. There is a, a sunscreen that um, has a higher SPF. I just couldn't find it at my local drugstore, but I'm sure you can definitely find it. The higher the SPF, the better, just because it'll last longer before you have to reapply. So today I am going to use my Matchmaster foundation from MAC. Oh, I am almost out. This is definitely, it's been my go-to foundation. I'm so mad I don't have any baby wipes. And I get so messy when I film. <gasps> Anywho, I feel like it's been forever since I filmed, but in all honesty, it hasn't been. It's just, I'm trying to like space out the videos like when I upload them because I noticed when I was doing it daily, I was exhausting myself. And anytime that happens, as you guys know, like YouTubers, well, YouTubers, like I, last time I did that, I literally stopped doing YouTube for like, because I was so just like, I had no ideas and I wasn't being creative and I just was kind of lost. Where now, if I just space it out, I plan out in advance what I'm gonna film for you guys, it's definitely easier. So, um, I'm enjoying it. I woke up today and it was raining and I loved it but it like went away. I don't know why it stopped. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Beige. I do wanna go back to using the Pro Longwear by MAC. So you know what, instead of probably repurchasing the Tarte Shape Tape, I really wanna get the MAC Pro Longwear. I wonder if the formula's changed though since because I know a lot of like um, foundations and concealers after like years and years they do redo the formulas which sucks I hope they didn't because it worked out really good like I really liked it so any of you guys out there still using your pro long wear how is it working for you all my beauty blenders are dirty right now so why I'm not using them. As always, I am just gonna set my face with my MAC Studio Fix in C3. This is my go-to powder. Ugh. Honestly, it gives me such full coverage even by itself, but I stopped using it by itself because I would run out of it extremely fast. So I'm not really feeling that. I wanted to get your guys' opinion. Have any of you tried the, uh, I think it's by Benefit, it's the Kaboom Brow, something like that. I wanna go pick that up because I love my Anastasia, don't get me wrong, but I'm like ready for something new. I'm like ready. What is your guys' favorite like go-to brow product? I'm dying to know that too. For contouring, I was using the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I forgot. And I'm moving on to blush. I'm using the Tarte Party Blush. Love this blush so much. Moving on to Fix Blush really quick because we're gonna do highlighter. today we are going to use the MAC a soft and gentle why because your girl loves it like oh, 
du das ein. I seriously love highlighting. Like who? I don't know who I am. Today I'm just gonna do a simple glam nothing cray because obviously my whole life is cray and I'm just trying to take a break. Okay. Today. Ooh, I I have to do my eyebrows. Give me a second. You guys have seen me do my brows a thousand times, so I will do my brows and I'll come back for you. I am back for you guys. We are gonna go ahead and move on to eyes. I am using one of my go-to palettes that my sister got me. It is the MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 eyeshadow palette. Like I said, it's just gonna be a simple look for you guys today, nothing cray. Um, I'm gonna use one of my favorite colors, which is this one. Ask me what it's called. Um, I don't know. Sorry, but it's it's like a yellow brown, mousy brown. I don't know, but I like it. So I'm just going to. Add some into my crease. And I am using my MAC 215, 217, which is one of my favorite brushes. Also, you guys, I'm thinking about changing the pink background for a while. I'm ready for something new. I think I'm gonna do dark blue. How does that sound? And go under a little. So it blends. Also, I'm gonna take this burgundy color and a flat shader brush. <sighs> All of my brushes are dirty. Of course that's my life and I'm just gonna darken up here literally I love this color I'm gonna take a little bit on my MAC 217, blend it in. Like I said, this is just a quick little glam. AJ and I are gonna go see Justice League movie. So um, when he gets off of work and I love superhero movies. We just saw Thor two days ago and I loved it. So did he. It was more funny, but I mean, obviously it's action because it's a superhero movie, but it was super funny. For my lid, I'm gonna spray a little bit more Fix Plus all over my face and then we're gonna do my lid color. And I'm gonna use the Anastasia Glow Kit. And I'm gonna take white. We'll see how, how this looks. I'm sure it's gonna look good. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use my go-to lashes, which these are the Ardell Double Up Whiskies. So while my eyelashes are dry, I'm gonna go ahead and do my bottom lashes. With 
All right, guys, so and now that my eyes are finished, we are gonna move on to the lips. I don't have the name of this pencil. I got it in an Ipsy bag like forever ago, but it is just a mauve nude. And on top of it, I'm going to use the lipstick All I Want, um, and it's a frost. I believe this is from the Mariah Carey release. I don't remember though. It's just so pretty. All right, you guys, so this concludes today's video. I hope you guys liked this look that we created today. Again, it was just a super simple look. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay tuned, you guys. I have a lot more coming for you. Drugstore haul and as well as just a drugstore makeup tutorial. So those will be up next week. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. The truth will break your chains, we have the key. Open your eyes.